Hey guys, today is finally the day I am going to be filming my makeup collection and storage video. It's the big day, yay! Um, this video has been requested and I am really excited to show you guys this. Um, I just want to get this out there that I am in no way bragging or, you know, showing off my collection. Makeup is something that I enjoy collecting and I enjoy doing. Um, some people might say I have a ton of makeup. Some people might say I have barely anything. Um, but I have been doing this for a little over a year now, so, um, I have quite a bit of stuff. I have more than a girl needs, but, um, this is my current area where I store and do my makeup. Um, as you can see to your left, I have the Alex 9 drawer set from Ikea that is very popular here on YouTube. Um, when it comes to storing makeup, I know I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this. Um, I actually got this because of so many other YouTubers raving about how great it is for storage. Um, and it is. It really is great. It's called the Alex 9 drawer set. Um, I'll have it down below if you guys are interested. And then the little mini desk next to it is called Mickey, Mikey or something. Um, it's just this little tiny desk with one drawer there. Um, I was... I've been looking for a long time for vanity, and nothing was ever big enough. Um, I had a collection, so I needed to have a lot of storage. And vanities usually are for display and great for those who really don't have a big collection. Um, so I was like, there's no way. So I kind of made one myself. Um, so this is my little vanity area, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the Alex drawer set and then I'm going to show you um, what's in my little Mickey, Mikey, whatever you want to call it, desk in that one drawer there. So let's get started. So as you can see, what I store on top of my Alex 9 drawer set is where I keep my perfumes and my jewelry and I have a separate video talking to you guys all about the perfumes that I have in depth, um, the scents and everything. Um, so I'll link that below if you guys are interested, but let's not talk about that and let's get started with the drawer set. So this is my top drawer set. This is where I keep basically body scents, body splashes. Um, my Victoria's Secret Angel, Love Spell, Bath and Body Works Paris, Pure Seduction, um, oh, I'll roll it out some more, Hot for Pink by Victoria's Secret, um, my deodorant, and then my tanners, um, and my lotions, which I've talked about in my last video with my little drugstore haul. But this drawer is just basically, you know, um, I wanted to keep it close to my perfumes on top since this, these kind of scents is what I gravitate towards this time of year since they're lighter and, you know, they're not as intense as a heavy perfume. Now, as you can see, this drawer is a little miscellaneous. Um, I haven't really decided what to call this one yet, but this is basically my little nail collection, skincare, samples, and extra jewelry in the jewelry box. Um, this is where I keep a lot of the samples that I'm currently using. Um, I have a lot of like face stuff and um, my samples of hair products. I also keep my skincare products in here. Um, I only wash my face in my bathroom and then I come in here and take care of everything else. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, if you guys have watched my skincare video a while back, I am using a couple different different products now. I'm using, I switched over to some Chanel products, um, but if you guys want to see my original skincare, um, it's about acne and everything, so I talk about like um, my how to get rid of how this basically solved my acne. Um, I'll link that down below. But basically, you know, this is where I keep everything. Um, you know, nail clippers, um, cuticle oil, all that good stuff. This drawer is also miscellaneous. Um, basically just extras and backups of things. Um, these are my foundations. Um, my CoverGirl foundation, my Giorgio Armani foundation, uh, L'Oreal True Match, um, Revlon Photo Ready, Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Um, some extra lashes back here, smooth operator, smooth finishing powder, my um, hand sanitizers, a makeup remover from Chanel, which I love. I need to buy another one. Um, and then some just backup like massage bars and stuff like that. So this is the start of the fun, guys. This is my blush, bronzer, and highlighter drawer. Um, 
as you can see, I have quite a bit of stuff. Um, as you probably know, I still want my collection to continue. Um, but I love collecting blushes and bronzers and highlighters. One of my favorite things to buy. Um, so over here is where I keep my MAC blushes. I only have three. Um, and then I have two um, face powders, mineralized skin finish. Um, then my bronzers, my Maybelline Dream Sun, my Tarte, two, my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, NYC Sunny, um, Physicians Formula, my Chanel um, Sheer Illuminating Fluid, NARS Orgasm, and Laguna Duo. Um, and then in the back here, where all the black is, is where I keep my higher end stuff. So I have my Chanel Highlighter, my Dior Blush and Bronzer Duo from the Summer Collection, a Chanel Bronzer, my Chanel Blushes in the back, and and then I have an extra makeup bag back there. Um, so, yeah. I would like to expand my collection, as you guys probably know. But um, also, I wanted to point out, um, a lot of you guys have been suggesting, like, drugstore um, blushes for me. Since I don't have a ton, I, only, I really only have a few. I, um, ooh, I actually forgot to include this. My NYX Stick Blush, which I love. This is in Poppy, Pink Poppy, and I keep forgetting to tell you guys about this because I really do love this product. Um, it's really, really great, really natural looking, and yeah. So that is my blush, bronzer, and luminizer drawer. So this is my lipstick lip gloss, lip stain, whatever you want to call it, lip drawer. Um, this is where I keep all of my lipsticks, um, lip liners, glosses, all that good stuff. So over here is my only really organizer case. I got this off of Amazon, I believe, and I love it, and I want to get another one, obviously, since I have a lot of lip products. Um, so I keep my YSL, Chanel, MAC, um, Revlon, some... Um, Rimmel, the Kate, I love these. I want to pick up some more. Um, the Victoria's Secret, and then in here I have kind of like my higher end glosses. Um, my Chanel, Dior, MAC. These are the only two MAC glosses I have. If you guys can recommend any MAC glosses for me, because there's so many colors and it's just so intimidating, I don't even know where to begin. So if you guys are MAC junkies, um, let me know some good glosses, because I really like these two and I would love to figure out more. But anyway, um, my YSL lip stain, my um, Maybelline glosses, then back here is where all my drugstore stuff is. Um, my Vivids, my, uh, what's it called, lip butters, Color Whispers from Maybelline, some more um, Revlon lipsticks, but these are kind of darker, so I'm keeping them back here because they're, I'm not grabbing towards them right now. I'm kind of grabbing towards these colors, corals, pinks, all that good stuff. And then in here is where I keep just a mixture of stuff, my Dior lipsticks, um, my L'Oreal lip stains, which I love, Revlon lip glosses, um, Skylark lip glosses, which they're, they're okay. They're not great, but um, I got these last year. They're pretty good. Um, my Dior Lip Pencil, Tarte, um, Revlon Just Kissable Balm Stain. I really like the kind of giant crayon-like products. And then here is my, um, Lush Lip Gloss, I guess you'd call it, um, which is really good. I would like to pick up another one, but it's very, very dark, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that is my lip gloss and lip stick drawer. Um, oh, and back here is where I keep my, um, liners, so, yeah. Now this drawer is where I keep um, a lot of stuff. It's pretty messy. It's it's getting a little out of control. Um, this is where I keep my color tattoos, paint pots, um, my drugstore little quads, um, and then all of my eyeliners and cream shadows back there. I know I need to organize this. I need to get like those little containers that like you put stuff in because I'm seriously running out of space. Um, so as you can see, I am a color tattoo collector. I love collecting them. Um, and I heard the only way, really the best way to store these, um, is upside down since they dry out if you hold them, um, the right side up. So face down, plus you can see the colors and it looks pretty. Um, back here is all of my eyeliners, um, my, um, cream shadows, um, just, you know, all that good stuff. I have some random stuff. I have like a wrinkle releaser and like uh what's it called? Fuzz thing. I, I can't I can't remember the name of it. Um some L'Oreal um pigments, the uh eyeshadow, infallible eyeshadows, um, some pigments from MAC, 
Um, but yeah, this drawer is, I need to really organize this drawer and go through everything because especially these guys back here, like, come on, they don't deserve to be like that. That's not fair. Um, but yeah, this is like my eyeshadow drawer, mostly drugstore stuff, but yeah. This is where I keep my palettes, um, and other backup stuff. Um, I love palettes. I love collecting them. I think that palettes, um, you get a lot for your money because you can save, um, on a ton of, you can get all these eyeshadows for, you know, some of these eyeshadows individually cost like 18 and like $20 or something. It's crazy. So in here, um, I've talked about a lot of these before. Um, I have my Tarte, Too Faced Romantic Eye, Christian Dior one, Boudoir Eyes, Summer Eyes, my, um, Petal Pusher Palette, Laura Mercier, Urban Decay Naked 2, and Naked, um, my Skylark Palette, The Bomb, Meet Matte Nude, and Nude Tude. At the very bottom here is where I keep my NYX giant one that I got at Target for like 15 bucks. And in the back here, I have some just random stuff, um, a backup Revlon Mascara, and the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes kit. Um, also, I have another backup of the, the Balm What's Your Type Mascara. And then back here is I keep just backup um, makeup bags. Alright guys, this drawer is very, very, very messy. I kind of find it very hard to store um, hair products because I like to keep them in my room. I don't like keeping them in my bathroom because I do my hair in here. Um, so it's pretty messy. Um, I have a split remedy. Um, dry shampoo, which actually I don't like this. Um, I think it makes my hair greasy, um, which I don't like. Um, a Tresemme heat tamer spray, a hairspray from Aussie, my Kerastase Nectar Thermique heat protector, which I love, um, my little box of, um, bobby pins, which is from an old perfume that I had, um, but the perfume's gone now, so I just kept the box. And then in here is my sample box. I'll show it to you guys real quick. This is where I keep all of my samples um, that I need to go through because I hate having all these products and I want to use them and I want to try them out. So, yeah. And then back here is where I keep like little travel sized um, shampoos and conditioners. Now, I know my Lushies are freaking out right now. Um, <laughs> this is my Lush drawer. Uh, this is where I keep all of my backup soaps, um, bubble bars, bath bombs, uh, empty containers that I need to bring back to Lush to get a free face mask. Yeah, it's, it's pretty messy. Um, I find it very hard to store Lush products, um, mainly because, you know, bath bombs are big and round and then bubble bars can be all different shapes. Soaps can either be, you know, perfectly square or just a weird shape. So I kind of just lined it up as soaps being along here and then my, um, my empty, um, face, what's it called? Face masks in here, containers. And then all throughout here is a mixture of bubble bars, bath bombs, and, um, What's it called? Massage bars. That's right. So it's kind of messy. Um, I know I need to use a lot of stuff up because I haven't gone to wash in a while and I'd love to go back and pick up a few more things. But as a, when it comes to bath products and soaps, I can't buy anything right now since I have a lot of stuff. Now we are on to the second part of my little vanity tour. Um, this is the Mickey, Mikey, whatever you want to call it, desk. Um, this I just picked up on a whim at Ikea. Um, I thought it would be a cool idea to have as a vanity, and it gives me plenty of space, and it's great for storing, you know, my everyday makeup. So on top here is my makeup mirror. Um, the light actually went out a couple months ago, so I just cut the cord off, and now I just have a little light over it. But I usually do my makeup in the sunlight um, because that's just the best way for me since my vanity is right next to my window. Um, so I always usually apply it in the sunlight. But, you know, just when I'm at, at nighttime, if I'm sitting here playing with makeup, I like to have my little light there. So... Um, next to that is my brush holders. Um, as you can see, I don't have a ton of brushes, um, but I'm building a collection, and I love my brushes. I take very good care of them. I try to keep them clean. 
right now they need to be, you know, taking a bath because they are getting a little dirty. But um, in the pink sparkly one, that's where I keep my face brushes, foundation, blush, bronzer, all that good stuff. And then I have my little mineralogy um, kabuki brush and my Real Techniques blush brush out there since they're really big and I just prefer keeping them out. Then in the little clear glass is where I keep all of my eye brushes, um, blender brushes, um, shadow brushes, anything that relates to my eyes, eyebrows, anything like that. Next to it is a Bath & Body Works honeysuckle candle, which I got last year, but I'm burning it now. It's just been sitting around for a year. Um, it's very, very good. I love that scent. I'm pretty sure they're still, they, they have it back this year, um, so you should give that a smell. And then in the picture frame is my boyfriend and I um, at my senior prom two years ago. I know I need to update my pictures, but I love that photo. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what is in this drawer. So this is the drawer open. As you guys can see, I have a lot of stuff that I use on a daily basis. I don't use it all at the same time. I just like to mix it up. Um, I usually like to have, you know, a different... A, a couple different amounts of product in each category just to choose from so I can, you know, get back to you guys quicker on different products. Um, you guys aren't even seeing the full drawer yet. This is, it still extends, I'll move it for you. It still extends down that way and down that way. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just like move the camera along as I explain everything so you guys can get a better depth. Um, but yeah. So this is like the face side of my drawer. I usually, how I do my makeup during the day, I go from right to left, which is, you know, that's the, just the way I go. Um, so in here I have some basically primers, um, BB creams, foundations, all that good stuff. So I have my Burberry Fluid Base, my professional, uh, my professional primer from Benefit, which I like, which is in the old packaging since they changed it. Um, a, my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer, which I love, and then I have some little, um, samples, CC cream, and I think this is, uh, just a skin vanish cream. My MAC Fix Plus, which I need to get more of, my Dior Skin Nude BB Cream, my, you know, guys, you guys know this, my, Mayb my Maybelline BB Cream, Revlon BB Cream, my Smashbox BB Cream, and then we get into more of the foundations. So, my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, and now we're in my concealers. I use all of these concealers. Granted, not every day, but I do. Um, my NARS YSL Touche Clay, my Maybelline Fit Me, L'Oreal True Match, and my Maybelline um, Lumi. I think that's what it's called. Touch Lumi or something like that. It's a highlighting pen. Um, I love all of them. They're great. Um, and I just like to mix and match. I like to have options in the morning. I like to have, you know, flexibility and stuff. So now we are into eyes and powders. My e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder, my Makeup Forever um, HD Powder, which actually I'm not crazy about. Um, I actually get crazy, and I know a lot of people love this, but I think e.l.f. wins this battle, guys, which is crazy. Um, now, you guys are probably like, seriously, Vicky? You have that many mascaras right now? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Um, I love mascara. I love um, trying different mascaras out. As you can see, I mostly have drugstore, um, but I do like to have high end here and there. I have my eyelash curler from Forever 21, which is great. It, it's good, but it's I only paid like $2 for it, and it's not the best one, but um, I, I'm probably going to invest in a better eyelash curler later down the road. But in here, I have my Chanel, Le Volume de Chanel, which is my favorite mascara. It's amazing. Illegal Length um, Lash Potion, which I love, guys. It's good. Um, Extreme Black Mascara, the Smoky Lash from Makeup Forever, which is good, but I know this has such a following that I'm not... It's okay. It's not great. Um, the new Maybelline Mascara Big Eyes, which I talked about in my last video. Yet again, let me know if you guys want to see a first impressions video on it, since I haven't used it yet. I have not. Promise. Um, the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions, which is good, and the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, which is great. Then I have my Girl Meets Pearl, which is my favorite liquid luminizer ever. And then in here is where I keep just eyeliners, 
um, my NYX liner, um, my NYX The Curve liner, and my Anastasia Brow Pencil, which is great. Then for eyeshadow, I keep my Naked Basics um, because if I'm just running out the door and I need something quick, this is something that I go towards all the time. It's great. And in the back here, I just have mostly samples, um, just hair stuff. I have my little little hair donut and an extra hair tie, my brush, um, some little mini hairspray, my Ojon, is that how you pronounce it? Hair oil, which I use um, as a heat protectant and to make mo to moisturize the ends of my hair, which get very dry, and then some skincare samples. So, yeah. So that was my storage um, for my makeup, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I This was very requested, and I finally decided to do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for my next video. Bye.